Okay, so here we are on uh, one of our, uh, it's our last full day here in Easter Island. We just come back to Anakela Beach, which we started from yesterday. And uh, today we we'll just had to wait until the park opens so we take some nice pictures. It's windy, as you can hear, and uh, I'm right now in a bit of shelter just because it's a nice view of the beach, to be honest. And uh, there's Sebastian over there. He's doing the thing, I don't know what he's doing, but yeah, so the beautiful beach, so transparent, the water, you can see right through it. Uh, there's loads of rocks and seaweed and stuff, and again, you can imagine the summer, this beach must be full, but we're in the winter, so it is what it is. But uh, yeah, so after yesterday's hike, which really took it out of us, to be honest, we went from one side of the beach to the other, uh, side of the beach, one side of the island to the other, from here back to town, uh, we just wanted to take another stroll today after some pictures from here and end up back in Tangariki to take some well, some pictures with the stars. So thank you very much for watching and good night. So here we are back at Anakela Beach with the Moai, as you can see here, there's uh, five of them. Well, there's actually four standing, five with the heads, and what, four with hats. A fifth without a hat, it must have fell, fallen off. And one, uh, and just two, like one little bit, and another little bit on top. So it's not as impressive as Tingariki, but it's still as nice that he's here overshadowing the beach, as you can see. There's another big one, which is behind me, which I'm gonna take another video of in a minute. But uh, again, it's nice to see them like here as proper like, wow, they're just looking towards the land. They're, it's nice to see all the features still standing like the other ones which have fallen down. But uh, again, it's a nice morning, nice dawn to enjoy the, some pictures and enjoy the sights. originated from you can see that they all have a very uh, similar look these ones but they've all got bigger eyes wider eyes uh, as you can see the first four have a hat different shapes and sizes the last two do not well the last one doesn't and the other two there are oh, Easter Island eh? 2018 the air smells good the one around nice artifacts you know archaeological sites here it's like a living museum this island so always trying to find a good place to take a picture and have a bit of adventure. So today's going to be a nice long day. We're going to keep on walking around the island and seeing uh, more of these Moai type structures. Actually, we're going to go around the volcano Poike. Uh, with a bit of luck, we'll be back in Tengariki to take some pictures under the stars. But at the moment, this is still quite an amazing sight, in my opinion. I think it's great. Well, the Sebastian's up there taking pictures. He doesn't find it particularly interesting, but that's it. Again, a lovely place in the summer, I bet. Lots of nice palm trees donated by Tahiti. I think there's 40 of them. So they said 40 of them donated by Tahiti? Something like that. And you can see with the Moai were uh, really nice. You know, it's nice to see them with their hats. Two of them were completely deteriorated. But uh, it's obviously looking towards something to bless this little natural formation, this natural beach they got here. Uh, well, as you see, the other day we saw this, of like a woman giving birth and like a medicine woman, like helping. Not, not, not so much. She's just watching it being born. Kind of bizarre, to be honest. 
So yeah, Sebastian has something in his shoes. I just sat down to take a break. And now we're gonna walk all the way back to Papavaca, where we stopped the previous day. And then after, we're gonna go up to Boike. Sebastian, we're climbing up Mount uh, Boike, the volcano. Sebastian, say hello. Morning. We're rather tired at the moment because yesterday really took it out of us, but we're just sat here enjoying the view uh, from up uh, up top, and uh, it's really lovely. You know, Sebastian took some photos. Arakena opinion, Arakena, the beach. The beach is nice. I think it'd be great in the summer. Mm. Um, yeah, but it's been the same walk. Well, we had to finish this piece because we came here the other day and we didn't finish going on. But the view is still fantastic. Let's show you around. some extraterrestrial life around here. It's just don't know. Keep it up, keep it up. To you. You know, so we we're just out in the plains a minute ago and just came into this forest which is quite fascinating. Old trees which we believe to be native to the islands. Uh, not quite sure to be honest with you, but we're finding like barrels and rusty barrels and tires down here. It's, like, the human influence around the world is so quite impressive. But again, these colours, the trees, the blue, the Pacific. Um, it's amazing. Just five minutes ago we were in the middle of a plain surrounded by cows. And now we're in the middle of a Jonder, maybe there was a secret base or something about here. Yeah, 
Well, I don't know. Okay, take it easy. lunch on the Poike volcano. They were surprised to come from a forest and find all this red earth. As you can see it's all kind of ready volcanic like earth, very nutritious. And uh, well I just come across all these stones too. I'm gonna show them to the camera. These little stones which I'm sure they use for different ornaments and stuff. Okay. See this? Oh, yeah. Here we are today huh? at the top of uh, Poike crater. We're just coming through this land of uh, red earth as you can see here. Just showing a picture of the red earth here. here so uh, it's been quite interesting to come up here with Sebastian it was a bit of a surprise because we get to see wonderful colors from the red and the blue and the green so it's been an interesting hike at the moment it was raining at the beginning but then the weather started to pick up a little bit so uh, thank you for watching we'll keep on traveling around the islands over and out after chilling out for a bit <laughs> the rain suddenly come in and ruin our little show to be honest but I was feeling really at peace you know uh, it very well but uh Sebastian's taking some shots here again look the sun's come out it was just raining a minute ago and now the sun's come out we just don't know what to make of it i feel like i'm on another planet everything's all at the same time so uh anyway we're run out
and uh, where they make the Moai. And of course here you can see here at the centre is where they actually, where they actually Moai here all lying down just in perfect condition. I'm surprised they haven't actually picked it back up because it still looks pretty awesome especially with this background. So yeah the Moai have fallen. The people of the island have felt abandoned by their gods which I believe they took out of this mountain over here because in the center of this mountain was the power of the island and when they're leaving then of course they lost all the power of whatever they had in control of in the first place. So great view, great picture. And again, I think the aliens may be here, but we don't know where, and there's no evidence of it whatsoever. Just these enormous, mighty, proud faces looking towards the center of the island, looking towards the hearts. But it's out of space. Good night. Sebastian, Sebastian, say hello to the camera. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, we're hiding out. We're just waiting out of the stars at the moment. It's 10 to 7. The stars should be out about 7.30, you reckon. From there, we're going to take some awesome pictures from the other side.